Hi, Rick Hecker here with Mobius Timesheet for Jira Cloud. Uh, we're going to be going over some of the features of Mobius today. Let's start out with uh, the default view. Uh, when you add the Mobius gadget to your Jira instance, you can see it down here, uh, Timesheet. Uh, when you add that gadget, by default, you will be uh, displayed this view, which will uh, be a week view, uh, a Monday through a Sunday with uh, your most likely work days, uh, Monday through Friday at the beginning of the sheet. And it will be rolled up by work log author. Now you'll also see uh, in this view, we have each day is aggregated uh, by total and is also given an average for each work log author, how much they on average logged uh, that given day. We also on this side have the totals for each individual work log author for uh, this week, their total and their average. And then we also have our overall total of all hours logged in this time period uh, and the average amount logged each day. Some of the more advanced features uh, of the timesheet lie here if we go into edit. You'll see we can change the view type uh, from week to month. Give that a save. And we'll see now before we were seeing one given week uh, in June. Now we're seeing a aggregated uh, total of the entire month of June uh, with uh, the week starting June 1 here and the last week of June here. Uh, and again, this is all rolled up by work log author. Uh, and we're also still given uh, totals for each work log author uh, for each day and for the entire month as well. Uh, you'll also notice here if I hover over a specific week uh, and person, you'll see we'll get this tooltip that lists each task uh, that that work log was logged under and the work log author as well as the individual work log time spent. Now the more unique features uh, in Mobius timesheet is in the rollup by. Now by default, we have work log author, uh, but we also allow you to roll up by several other fields as you can see here. We allow some of the pre-built JIRA fields such as uh, assignee, uh, fixed version, issue, issue type, project, and then also any custom fields you may have. So if, say, you wanted to roll up by project, um, give this a save, you'll now see that same view uh, that we were looking at, same time data that we were viewing before, except now it's rolled up by the different projects that time was logged under. Uh, this kind of view would be very helpful if you want to see basically how much time is being spent on specific initiatives in your organization, you know, weigh the you know, cost benefits potentially of, of each project. Again, helpful, especially in this kind of view, um, you might see in this project titled Boundless Moment, we can see that there was 128 hours uh, logged, but you may not know who or what tasks those were logged on. So we just give it a, a quick hover here, and then a tooltip displays with all of the tasks that were logged on that given week uh, and by whom uh, each of those tasks were logged by. Uh, in addition to uh, roll-up types, we also have some view-specific uh, toggles here if you wish to not display totals, averages, or if you would like to display an additional column called uh, number of days or weeks logged, we can do that and that will add an additional column here at the end just to kind of give, say, you know, in this uh, particular row, four of the you know, weeks were logged on. And then lastly here, a very helpful uh, field is this JQL field. Uh, now in JIRA, we can filter issues uh, using JQL. You may be familiar with this in, in this kind of view uh, where you can use uh, even some, some autocomplete in here to 
get help with your JQL. Once, once you get some JQL that you want to analyze in Mobius, you can go ahead and copy this, paste it into uh, this JQL field, and essentially Mobius will only analyze time on issues that are received from this JQL statement. If you leave the JQL box blank, it will be just like if you were to do it in normal JIRA uh, search, and it will receive all issues in your entire JIRA instance, which in many cases will cause uh, Mobius to take a very long time to re return you results because uh, it has to sift through potentially thousands or hundreds of thousands of tasks, depending on the size of your organization. Definitely uh, utilizing the JQL field, very useful. We also include a link to some useful JQL queries, uh, specifically for use in Mobius. We'll get into some helpful ones here with things like tasks updated within the last seven days. So you're only polling tasks if, if, within the last seven days uh, if you're only interested in viewing uh, like a week's worth of time. You can always obviously update this number to be whatever you'd like. You can also uh, do it with weeks if you want to look at multiple projects, um, if you want to look at specific uh, assignees to, to see what they're doing, um, that, that can also be used. So these are very helpful. One of the really powerful features uh, in Mobius is this average column. Uh, it allows us to do some things that typically uh, most timesheets aren't concerned with. Most timesheets are concerned with you know, project spend, analyzing costs and uh, productivity. Uh, which is typically done by looking at the totals field. By providing this average column, it gives us some abilities for project forecasting and prediction. Uh, in this case, we're looking at certain users and their time log over a given week. And with this, we can essentially see what users' average velocities are. Uh, so in this case, this user uh, on average uh, in a given week, in this given week anyways, is logging six hours and six minutes per day. Now you can imagine uh, if you have your entire team in here and you look at this aggregated average here at the bottom, you'll be able to see on average how many hours your team logs in a given week. We can then change the view of this uh, even to the uh, month view and then you'll be able to see uh, in a given month how much does your team log on average. And then if you want to get outside of just looking at individual teams or team members, um, if you just want to see you know, what is a velocity on given issue types. Uh, so if you wanted to see how much time are we spending on bugs versus new features, this total these total fields and these average time spent uh, per week fields are extremely helpful to see uh, how much time your organization is spending on uh, new features versus bugs. All right, thank you very much for watching the Mobius timesheet introductory video. If you have any questions or have any issues with the timesheet, please feel free to email us at support at hecker.com. And we will be uh, glad to get back to you and, and work with you on any issues or questions you have. All right, thanks.